Video games. It's Spoot from Fort Misery Gaming coming back with Sino Alice. We've got, uh, we're going to go over equipment today. This is going to be pretty short since a lot of this stuff we have covered in multiple videos. So this is kind of just a catch up for everybody. So everybody is obviously on the train of how do I get my, my points up? Because that's how you unlock tiers. That's generally how guilds are going to be hiring going forward. Uh, mine is a little artificially uh, dropped because I just evolved three pieces of gear. So, like, I lost almost 5k out of it. So that sucked. But uh, no big deal there. So we'll go over some real easy tips, some real easy things. So if you go to your gear set, basic stuff. You've got armor, which you almost always want to have equipped. Evolving them isn't recommended until you get a set that actually benefits you. Um, like, right now, I, I just... it's fine. It's not a huge problem in any direction, it's just kind of poopy. Uh, your nightmares are a big deal. Like, obviously, if you have an SR nightmare, it's better than the regular A's. The S's are slightly better. Uh, some of you may be purchasing the Royal Rank Nightmares, uh, Freeze Golem for the near event, or Lindworm for the long run. Uh, both of those are pretty good. You'll get a decent chunk of base stats out of them, as well as their effects, which are very strong. Um, you always want to try to level up everything evenly, right? Like, I've got a couple of level 1s still, because I've been focusing on other things. Also, orbs, and I'm bitter about it. Um, you're gonna end up with... Get everything to, like, level 30 or 40, because that gives you a good chunk of stats, and then you don't have to worry about doubling down on it past that. Um, the exception to that rule is if it's your specialized weapon. So, like, for Minstrel, for me, it's instruments. So I get 160% of the stats, as opposed to just a regular 100%. So I will almost always net more on these. Uh, same thing goes for Breaker, for Swords, for Crusher, for Hammers, etc. Um, just keep an eye on it. The big trick here is the more you rank up, the more your cost goes up. So, like, once you start being able to equip gear that you normally can't, that's when a lot of your stats are going to go through the roof. Uh, I've I've been melding a lot of my lower than A gear, so I'm not too super concerned about it. But keep it keep an eye on it. It's something to do. Uh, sub gear is very important. This equips all of the gear that you don't have up to whatever the box is. But right now, I can only equip eleven. So I've got a couple of SRs in here. You can't equip dupes, so I have two Cindy swords, but I can't equip them down here. Uh, once you get more armor, same thing, and any leftover nightmares you don't have equipped go here. Same thing, really. It's nothing, like, too incredibly special, but you get, I think it's 10% of these stats down here, and then you get 100% of the stats that are equipped in these things. So that's why sticking to your specialty weapon is important, but it's too early in the game to really do that for a full board. So, I, like, I get it. I understand. Uh, upgrading weapons. So you want to stick to what the level is without level breaking them. Like, an SR you can upgrade at 60, and an S you can upgrade at 50. So you can dump levels into it if you don't go over that experience rating. So, like, for this one... Uh, I just evolved this one particularly. So the big deal about this one is I dropped a limit break into it, but I upgraded it at 60, not 65. Like, you always want to grow it up to the max, or you always want to evolve it at the level that it evolves, not past it, because they are just putting resources into a weapon that may not help you out that much. So, like, SRs, you always want to evolve at 60 if you can. Don't waste too much more experience than that. It's it's just kind of rough. Uh, limit Break Gear, self-explanatory. If you have a dupe, you can make another one. Um, matters specifically more for your class than anything else. Evolving Gear is the same thing. You click on... Let's do the flute. Dude, dude, I'm a flute. So, I can almost upgrade this one. I just need 18 more claws, which are the easy drops. But it'll tell you what you need and what you're looking for. That bumps up your rating from S to SR, SR to L. Um, a lot of you are going to be like, What gear do I equip? What rarity? Um, it depends on what you have. Like, I would say you don't want to equip A's. But if you can turn an A into an S and it's all you have, do it. Um... It's not a huge concern right now because, like, nobody's really going nuts and none of the none of the events are, like, insanely hard with the right kind of co-op power. But you do want to sort of keep it, like, S rank or above in your box. And eventually a lot of that is just going to turn into bare minimum S's or SR's. 
So keep sort of an eye on it. Uh, let's see if I have any books to show you. I do not. I have used all of them. So let's go into the metal shop and I'll show you what these are. Because you may not even notice that they were there. Actually, I'll see if I can grab one out of the, the charm shop so I can show it to you. Here they are. Oh, this thing's 50. Okay. So grab one of these. That's fine. All right, now we go back to menu and items. Now we're thinking with portals. All right, so you're going to get books from a lot of events, from login bonuses, from raids. Uh, you can get them from the shop, although I don't necessarily recommend buying them from the shop. So when you use it, you get 5,000 class mastery. This goes up depending on the rarity of the book. Uh, the next book above it will give you 10,000, or is it 8,000? It doesn't matter. They're all bump ups, so they start at 5 and they go up from there. So what that does is it adds 5,000 to your class, your class points. So like, no matter what, I have 5,000 more points than I did before. Now, leveling up your main job is probably the most important thing. I don't wanna say guaranteed because like for Minstrel, I need all four stats to be good. Whereas for Breaker, you really only need physical attack and defense. Crusher, that, that kind of stuff is a little different depending on. Um, so for these, I would get like the 50... Well, hold on. Do I have Cindy? Yeah, I think she gets 100. Yep, there we go. So like, I would probably take her to 4 and leave it. Because I don't need much past that. Like, having the HP and the physical defense is fine, but I'm on rear guard most of the time in guild fights, so not as big a deal. So those are all 50. These are all 50. So, like, the free ones give you 50 and the pull ones give you 75. Uh, 75 to 100, depending on if they're premium or not. So, like, this one's going to be 50. So, like, I'll take this to 3 because I only need the physical attack to buff attack. So these are going to differ depending on what class you're playing. Minstrel needs all four stats. The rest of you really only need to focus on one or two. Minstrel and Sork can eat all four. The rest is meh. You can kind of do what you want. So this is an easy way to sort of cheat. Don't skip on common stats. If you are grinding out right now and you have an excess of these, like 50 HP does not look like a lot until you do this. So if I go make a new gear set, and I choose a job, let's do a level one breaker. No matter what, I have these stats. Like it's slightly higher than normal. So let's say I go to make Crusher. Notice the stats are the same. These are just no equips. These are your account stats. Over time, you are gonna want these to be as high as possible because it makes the difference in bad equipment. Like. I'm leveling these up because I don't have the greatest equipment right now, and I didn't really spend a crap ton of time re-rolling. So I have to sort of make do with what I have. So having these little bitty incremental bonuses is very, very strong for me. Uh, oh, hey, I'm at 40k. That's cool. Very nice. I broke it again. We've done it again. We're doing it. As far as limit breaking classes, you get really big bonuses for using their arcanas uh, because you get a one class level up afterwards and they're usually pretty good, but you may not have access to those arcanas immediately. So kind of keep an eye on it. Um, that's a lot of your short stuff. Those are That's your quick, quick dirty hits to getting your gear up. Um, if you do the story through the second act, you get a second piece of gear or second set of gear. And then the near automata uh, event next week gives us another set. So like you might be able to find something that you can use and you'll have more armor for subsets, which is really good. Just pay attention to it. It's not too hard to really drag up your CP um, unless you get really screwed sort of like I did. Like here, I'll show you. It's, uh, it's, it's really upsetting. So if I just look at my SRs, I have no natural SR uh, instruments. Those are both upgraded. I got a whole bunch of orbs and a whole bunch of sticks. Sort of, sort of sad. Uh, and if I go back and I do L, I have one. 
I got my only instrument, the one I started with. It's pretty sad. Uh, the other thing that you want to sort of pay attention to that doesn't add to your specific power points, but will end up doing you a lot of benefit, are your skills. So, like, you'll notice I have level 7, level 9, level 8. The more levels you have in these, the more they actually do. And it is not a direct increase to your power, although it is a direct increase to your effectiveness. So if you're getting really deep on Guild Wars right now and you have a couple of really good effects, throw some lower than S gear in there, maybe invest a couple of skill gems. Uh, I'll show you what those look like so you can see them. Actually, I can go to... Yeah, we can do this. They're in miscellaneous. So that's what these little skill books are, the purple Colosseum gems. And I can actually sell all these golds. Oh, yeah, we made some money. So, um, just keep it in mind, don't blow all of your resources on early weapons, just because weapons get power crept pretty quickly. Like, every couple of weeks you're going to see new stuff with higher stats. So, don't go chasing things that you may not necessarily need to. You may plateau for a little while. Like, I'm going to hit about 50,000 and I am hard stopped until I pull more instruments. And, like, I understand that. So, don't feel bad if your power is a little less than normal. Like, evolve what you can, level up what you can, focus on specialized weapons first, and then move outwards. And make sure everything has a couple of levels in it. That's really it. Like... There's a lot of stuff I have equipped that doesn't have levels in it because it's in sub-gear, but if it's in your main, throw some sword experience into it. Get it to 20 or 30, because it's better to have some stats than none. Um, and that is pretty much it for me, so thank you guys for stopping. If you have any questions, leave us a comment. Uh, like, subscribe, give us a thumbs down if you're like, I hate this guy. Um, and uh, don't get miserable. <laughs>